One, two, power on. Okay. And I believe if you just hold, she should. You got to keep holding the button for it to do this. I don't know if there's a range. There is. So you got about 20 feet and then the car is going to stop. So that is very cool. Learn something new every day. Now check this out. She's singing, which is kind of neat. And then to turn the car back off, uh, let me see here, this button up here again, just hold it and that will power down the vehicle. So I'm all about that. This K backwards end is gonna be legit. TT. Hi, I know you're such a slob. Hers is a good girl. Not so much a good girl. Quarantine. TT. Oh, come here. Bring me your faces. Not when it's breakfast time. Okay, cows are fed. We're back home, so I figured we'd do a walkthrough on this beast. Uh, let's see here. Since I'm walking by, your tires are 19s. So it's a lot more. Uh, going on than a Tesla in here. Uh, some various fluids, windshield wipers, looks like dot three brakes. Here is your frunk. There's a light in here, right here. Uh, in Europe, it's called a fruit because it's a boot and a front boot is a fruit. Ha ha ha. Well, there's your dot three brake fluid. 12 volts are under there. And here is your access panel if you need to access your 12 volt terminals. Not a whole lot going on, um, but you're definitely not gonna fit a lot in here. Maybe like a level one charger, uh, just for one of those what if moments. And uh, EV, nice big heavy hood, and it has a very nice positive lock on it. Uh, there are, this is your radar under here, and you have dampeners in here that open and close to provide uh, additional cooling. I'm not sure if it's radiator cooling or if it has anything to do with the battery cooling or the motors, but I do know that there's dampeners in there that open and close. And then you also have your front facing camera right there, along with various sensors here and a tow point there. There are no fog lights on this model. I'm not sure if that's saving for another one, uh, the GT line maybe, not sure big wide side lights and these all light up right here if there's somebody coming up next to you um, and you have your little illuminator right there to show a warning my stupid pop socket door handles are backwards from a Tesla push here to open and inside there is your key right there in case there's an issue and you can't get in you certainly can uh, coming around here on this side driver's side door is the only one that has them I really like how wide these open. Uh, it's very stout. They, uh, they actually feel strong. Back around here, um, as most of the other videos, you have this really cool diamond plating that comes through here, and that's pretty slick at night. And then, of course, your full length wrap around tail lights. Seats are down. This is probably a little bit bigger than a Model Y, I would guess. Um, still extremely nice. I dropped my phone. Uh, storage under here. This does lift up. I'm not entirely sure to what degree, but you're not, again, going to get a whole lot in there. It's not very deep. Um, some side areas over here, 12 volt. And these are your seat releases, one on either side. And this is a... Uh, Boop, there we are. Uh, open this up and it's an, uh, um, a manual release for your charging handle. This does not have, and it does not have the cutouts to put one of those um, privacy rollers on here. 
and great big trunk lid. You got a great handle right here and the ability to just manually close it. It does have a soft close that I really like. Uh, Tesla, that closes pretty hard. You know it's closed. Door, push, opens. Now you can grab it by hand and close it or you can just do that. Uh, the DC portion of the charging block down there does have that little dust cap on there, leaving the 120 volt exposed. Coming back over here, just regular old door handles, switches and stuff. This is super annoying. You can't just flip the seat back. You have to pull one of those handles and then flip up. It's a two person operation. Okay, I stand corrected. Pull this handle here, schmutz, and then you can flip your seat back. Very nice, I think leather-esque. And then um, if you do pull, and if you pull back on the handle again, you can actually recline the seat back a little bit. And you have USB-C charging ports in the doors. I do like these headrests. I think that's pretty cool. And then down under here that we saw last night, which you can't really see. I believe it's 110 volt down there, but we're gonna double check that for sure today. Back on the inside here, again, just standard buttons everywhere and you roll your windows down, lock them. Uh, passenger side lumbar, which is cool. And all of your electric uh, controls there. This is kind of a trip. Um, push button to open. And you can fit a small child in here. This is absolutely enormous for a glove box. Back out and around. And that is pretty much a 360 of the car. Um, I'm sorry that my videos are not as refined as other people's. I don't have a team that edits the videos for me or somebody that walks around with the camera. So you get it directly from an owner, not a person that does reviews for a living. But I tell you what, it is a fantastic car. And I really am impressed with how dark the back windows are from the factory. That's, that's quite nice. The color, I really like it. I've had steel colored cars before, or silver, whatever you want to call them. This really works for me, and I really like this rear spoiler. I just think that's super cool back there. And then of course, your standard shark fin uh, that he has used for uh, their antennas. So we're gonna get on the road here in just a moment, and uh, we'll do some video from inside the cabin, and we'll go over some of the, uh, the buttons and the features in there. So stand by, guys, and we'll get you flipped around. Okay, guys, this is not gonna be really good, but there's a key lock right there, and if you take your key out of the bottom of your key fob, you can jam it in there, turn it to unlock, it's barely a turn. Then you can slide it open, 120 volt receptacle. Close it again and lock it. It's a real small tactile little click and then you're good to go.
Okay, the dog is ran, so we are good. So let's start on the steering wheel. Lever right there. Push the button. Whoop, Jesus. And it changes you into sport mode, and that's pretty cool. Uh, cycle through those, honey. So it'll cycle through all the different modes. You got economy, normal, and then sport mode. And you can absolutely feel the difference um, between the, the two motors when you go into any mode. Uh, it's an immediate jolt or a deceleration depending on what uh, area you're going in. Um, there's also snow mode, little, snow down. mold. Yes, you hold that same button down right there. Whoop and it'll actually turn snow mode on. I'm pretty sure that's like wheels that slip to the wheels that grip kind of thing. So 37 miles an hour, uh, like I said last night, that bar right there with the slider on it right there, whoop, that is just uh, showing how fast you are. Uh, with this bar, you can see that we've come down below that line, so we're actually charging or regenerative braking. And then anything above that line this way, is going to be power used because of throttle. The long blue bar at the bottom right there, that is your regenerative braking, and it ah, shows that we're getting 3.1 miles to the kilowatt hour, which is decent. Um, anything three and a half and above, in my opinion, is great for, I can sometimes get that from the Tesla, even better. And then over there, 77% state of charge, plus a battery indicator, and that LV1 obviously is level one. That is your regenerative. Anything else down here? That's how many miles around the car. And then standard steering Ranger. wheels controls here, uh, windshield wipers, and then on the other side, your turn indicators. And your lights. And your lights, we just leave them on auto because what's the point? Paddle shifters, what? Not in a no, tranny having car uh, those are how you can also adjust the regenerative braking and I think we might be able to see it hit that button honey hold it okay yeah level three level two and then if you keep going through them uh, max regenerative braking which is where we're gonna leave it at because hell yeah and phone charger right here I like it it's ventilated it's got a rubber texture to it um, I do like that because it just dissipates heat from the uh, from the bottom of the phone. So from here, we're going to hop onto the freeway, switch into sport mode, and punch it. So I will be right back. Okay, hopping on the freeway. One thing I can show you real quick because we got a damn bus in front of us. Uh, on the radio controls, you can select your custom, your authentic sound, surround sound, and then HD. So that's kind of neat. So the bottom, let me see if I can do this. The car's bouncing Sorry. all over the place. It doesn't go from regenerative anymore. It goes into torque while you're in sport mode. So that's definitely something two. else I haven't seen. And uh, Is that that? Yeah, that are, that's a Durango RT and that thing sounded really healthy. So we got a line of traffic right here, and as soon as we clear them, uh, we'll get on the gas. Ooh. Not extremely hard because it was drizzly, rainy last night, uh, but just enough to uh, make her talk. Can we um, play Mario Kart music over this when we speed up? Yeah, we need to do Mario Kart music, uh, and I need a blue turtle shell to get rid of them. Yes. <clears throat> so, you can see that we're in... Oh, that's cool. She talks to you. Yeah, it tells you there's a traffic light camera ahead. Since when do so this many cars get on the 44? I know, right? So we'll zoom in a little bit here. So again, with the uh, the blue right there, that's regenerative. When it goes into the red, you're into the power band that way. Yeah, I'm not going to get to punch it. You're going to have to save that for our... Yeah, we're going to be able to punch it, no problem. Where? Right here. No. Can't get around this Tahoe. No, he's getting over. There's a car in front of him. Oh man, too many people on the road today. So we'll have to get home, yeah, us. we'll have to get. Uh, we'll have to run the power band here in just a few. Why are you breaking? What else can I go through in here? I don't know, but this Tahoe, he's got his head up his ass, driving. Like we are severely under the speed limit, so I can say that. 
if he was actually doing the speed oh, limit, I couldn't say anything. There's a little blue knee on I don't give a shit. Everybody it's needs to be going the speed limit. I kind of rage. Uh, I'm not even the driver. I'm the passenger. Monkey's driving. But yeah, I rage at people. If you're going to drive the speed limit, I can't say anything. As long as your ass is in the right lane. Green light. Get the hell out of the way if you're in the left lane. And at least do the speed limit. So, yeah, hang on. So, well, I'm trying to figure out what else I can go over here. Uh, down here, two uh, cigarette lighter adapter, USB, uh, or USB-C, excuse me, another USB-C, and then a regular USB. So that's pretty cool. And then a massive amount of storage right here. Um, some kind of a clippy for a hanger here. Oh, that's for your cords. And then... A deep ass. That's for your cords to sit in. So oh, is not it? Up in the way. Oh, all right. Well, now we're holding a cord here poorly. <laughs> so we're gonna run into Costco, and uh, we'll definitely do a power up video as we. Uh... Oh, there's a good one. <laughs> I almost lost the dog on that one. Poor Ranger Danger went flying. So, yeah, that definitely shot up through the power band. It's very cool. Okay, guys, we'll be back here in just a few. Ranger. Him's all upset. Costco did not have what we were looking for. So we're going to finish this up with a little bit of uh, spirited driving. Um, Aspen's back behind the wheel. Illegal or spirited? And no, we're going to be spiritedly hauling ass. And uh, we're, what we're doing is I'm going to ask her what the comparison is between uh, the acceleration on this and our Tesla. Uh, I'm not sure on the weight on this. I'm not sure of the battery design. I know what it is on the Tesla. Uh, so we're just gonna go off a comparison from a You're almost 30. 20 year old. So hang on, we'll, we'll get you flipped around. I gotta see here. Okay. okay, we are in sport mode. We are lined up. We got homeboy next to us. He's gonna get his butt whooped in sport mode. So let's just, uh... oh my God. Holy say shit. it works. Uh, poor dog went flying. Sorry, Ranger. <laughs> okay, so, well, let me get off of the hill. Ready? It makes a cool noise. Yeah, that's what? <laughs> poor dog is getting the shit kicked out Sorry, of him. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so you speak. Um, I think yours is a lot more reactive, but that was pretty fun. This makes cool noises where yours doesn't. It did have a spaceship sort of noise to it. So when you punched it, had, was did you feel any kind of a lag or was the throttle yeah, immediate? A lag. Just a little bit of a lag? Bit. Compared to yours, yeah. It felt like it had to throw you back in your seat. It did. Yeah, I think I almost broke my neck. That's very cool. Yeah. So, so the dog probably has PTSD now from getting slammed around. So, yeah spirit of driving is quite fun and you can notice it immediately even in the passenger seat uh comparison size it's probably going to be right on par with the model y obviously there's some differences but um size for size for size i would say that that's probably as accurate as you're going to get and uh yeah it's it's electric so of course it's going to be a ton of fun to drive so we got to clean these uh floorboards out the floor mats before the wife gets home and sees them because they're pretty hammered and uh, we're gonna stop for coffee hope you guys enjoyed the video I know that there was a whole bunch of words in here and dog this guy I'm gonna try to do a little more in-depth with the various buttons on here if you guys are interested in that just let me know if you want to see more spirit driving I'm happy to oblige so the main channel's focus is my Tesla We'll try and incorporate this one into it a little bit more, uh, but definitely, if you guys want to see something on this, I don't care if it's how minute it is. Just let me know. I'm happy to uh, to put this together for you, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Stay classy, San Diego.